Money bags were horlocks. for another Tuesday review. Uh, today I'm actually doing a review on a movie I watched for the first time last night. I um, actually picked it up from FYE, um, the uh, two disc out of print edition of this movie, uh, and I actually watched it last night for the first time, which I'm really, really happy that I did. Uh, this movie is a 1986 comedy horror movie uh, called House. Um, this movie is directed by Steve Miner. Um, if you're not familiar with Steve Miner, he's actually done a lot of stuff. I knew his name sounded really familiar, um, and I've actually seen a lot of the films, I'm sure you guys have too, uh, that he's been a part of. He's not just directed or written, he's actually been a part of a lot of these movies. Uh, that The Last House on, uh, House on the Left, which was the original Wes Craven movie, he was like an executive producer on that movie. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 3, he directed. Um, he was, uh, he, he had a part on the movie Warlock, uh, Night of the Creeps, and he was the director of Lake Placid. Uh, so he's, he's a pretty big, um, it looks like he does a lot in the horror community. If you actually look at his IMDb, uh, he does a lot newer stuff, like mostly TV shows and stuff, but he has done a lot of, uh, older, uh, older, old school horror movies and stuff. Um, but yeah, to kind of get into House a little bit, uh, this movie, uh, follows a guy named Roger Cobb who is a uh, horror novelist. Uh, he writes horror, uh, horror books. Um, and he actually had a book that he wrote a year prior to the, uh, you know, the start of this movie. Uh, I can't remember what the, book, the name of the book was, but it was really, really popular. It shows him doing a book signing in one of the bookstores, and he has like a ton of, uh, you know, a big following uh, from, these, you know, you know, from this book. Um, and uh, he has a lot of misfortunes that start happening to him. Uh, his aunt actually commits suicide at the beginning of the movie. She hangs herself. Uh, he, his son disappears out of nowhere, just completely disappears. Nobody knows what happens to uh, his son, and then his wife recently left him. So after his aunt passed away or committed suicide, uh, he went to the funeral, and he was offered the, um, he was recommended by the estate uh, to, uh, he was recommended to sell the estate, uh, which his grandmother lived in, which is this big house which is where most of this movie is, uh, you know, takes part at. Uh, he decides not to. He wants to go ahead and go to this house and start writing this new novel about him being in the Vietnam War. Uh, and he just wants to spend time in this house to kind of get away. Um, so he does. And uh, all these crazy things start happening. Um, he, uh, he starts seeing things uh, upstairs in his aunt's bedroom. He, he opens the closet door and this big monster, like, comes out and, like, you know, scratches his chest, and he starts seeing and hearing all kinds of weird noises. Um, he starts having really bad flashbacks about being in Vietnam as he's writing this book. Um, I thought it was really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever watched the show Night Court from like the 80s, uh, but the big bald guy from Night Court, he is the main bad guy in this movie, or the main guy in this movie. Um, uh, he goes by the name of Big Ben in this movie. He was actually, um, he's actually uh, Roger Cobb's, uh, the main character is uh, one of his Vietnam uh, war veteran buddies. Uh, so he's in this movie. Really, really cool actor. I really like that guy. He's he's very you know charismatic, very very cool cool looking guy. He's really cool to watch in movies and stuff. But uh, but yeah, he starts seeing all these things. He's writing this book, um, and uh, you know he's being pressured by his company, the company that he wrote the book for originally, to actually start you know finishing up this book and writing this book. And, you know, he's just going through a bunch of hard times. Uh, there's one scene where the woman across the street, uh, who's this very attractive woman, he thinks that she's interested in him, but she just wants to use him as a, you know, to be a babysitter. Uh, and then, you know, th there was a scene where there's this monster that comes out of nowhere, and he ends up dismembering this monster in its hand, uh, which I don't know if it's, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the hand that's on the front here. It doesn't really look like it, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be. The hand, like, takes a, is, like, 
latched on to the little kid that he's babysitting his back, and the kid doesn't know it, and he has to try to get the hand off. It's, it's really, really comical and really, really funny. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, but, uh, yeah, he stays there. He hears noises in the room, um, and, uh, uh, you know, toward the end of the movie, he actually finds this dimension, this portal to another world that's built into this house. I'm not going to spoil any of the rest of the movie. I'm just going to say that. Uh, the practical effects in this movie are phenomenal. I really, this is what drew me into this movie. It made me want to keep watching. It's about an hour and a half long, but you know, I, it's it's kind of a, at the beginning of the movie. It's sort of a slow burner. Uh, it takes a little bit to lead up to getting to something, but uh, the practical effects in this are phenomenal. I really wish a lot of these newer horror movies, you know, would would do these practical effects. They're just they're just beautiful to look at. I really enjoy them. Uh, the ending, the 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 big guy at the end, uh, you know, the main bad guy at the end. Really, really awesome how the you know how he looks and you know the feel to him. I mean, even though this is a horror comedy, kind of creepy to see some of these practical effects and stuff. Um, so yeah, House uh, Roger Cobb is actually paid, played by William Cat, and then you got George Went as well. He was um, uh, the big kind of chubby guy in Cheers that was always there. I can't remember what his name was in Cheers. Uh, Richard Mole is the, uh, the guy who played in Night Court, the big tall guy that plays Big Ben. Uh, then Kay Lentz, I'm not really sure what character she plays, I want to say his wife. Um, but yeah man, House. Uh, this Actually this edition right here was really cool, I found it. This is the Anchor Bay edition, it's actually out of print. Uh, this goes for about 50 or 60 bucks from what I saw on eBay um, from some of the sellers. Uh, but it actually comes with two discs, it comes with the, uh, the first House movie, which is House 1, and it comes with House 2 which I'm going to probably, just to kind of a spoiler for you guys, not on the movie, but I'll probably review House 2 next week on my um, uh, on Body Bag. So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably watch that. It also comes with these really, really cool, and I, I wanted to show this off to you guys as well, these really, really cool little inserts, man, for, for like the first and the second movie. So obviously on the back it tells you like the, uh, the chapter selection. Um, and then that's really funny, the little kid in the, ha in the hand right there. That's, uh, that's supposed to be his, uh, his son, actually, the one that disappears. And then you got this really cool, like, I know it's probably backwards for you guys. It's like an old school poster, kind of, like, you know, that's on there. And the same thing for House 2. I'll show this again next week. It's got a cool little poster. It's got the scene selections on the back. I thought it was really cool. Um, Anchor Bay out of print. I, I rec if you if you can pick this up, I got it for seven bucks. So FYE, I definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, this movie, I would give this movie an eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> really enjoyed this movie. Um, I would you know venture definitely watch this again. It's definitely a rewatchable movie. Uh, it's definitely got really awesome practical effects, really good acting, very well directed. Um, fun, really funny at times. I had a great time with this movie. Recommend House. Check it out. Uh, check back next week. I'll probably, like I said, do House 2 more than likely. Um, I'd like to do all four of these uh, because there's actually four in this, uh, you know, in this franchise. So uh, check back with me. Uh, until next time, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Sub Body Bags. I'm going to have my link to my Horrorfile channel down here. Sub the Horrorfile, which is me, and I will see you later. Peace.